This is Pastor Scott Stolberg from Our Savior's Lutheran Church in Rockford, Illinois, bringing you the daily devotion for Tuesday, a reading from Acts. Now in the church at Antioch, there were prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manian, a member of the court of Herod the ruler, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then after fasting and praying, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. So, being sent out by the Holy Spirit, they went down to Seleucia, and from there they sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived at Salamis, They proclaimed the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews, and they had John also to assist them. When they had gone through the whole island, as far as Paphos, they met a certain magician, a Jewish false prophet named Bar-Jesus. He was with the proconsul Sergius Paulus, an intelligent man who summoned Barnabas and Saul and wanted to hear the word of God. But the magician Alamus, for that is the translation of his name, opposed them and tried to turn the proconsul away from the faith. But Saul, also known as Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked intently at him and said, You son of the devil, you enemy of all righteousness, full of all deceit and villainy, will you not stop making crooked the straight paths of the Lord? And now listen. The hand of the Lord is against you, and you will be blind for a while, unable to see the sun. Immediately, mist and darkness came over him, and he went about groping for someone to lead him by the hand. When the proconsul saw what had happened, he believed, for he was astonished at the teaching about the Lord. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, make me an instrument of consecrated service to you that all I do today will give glory to your holy name. Help me by your grace and through strength coming from you to resist every temptation to sin. Do not let me deny your name or ever be ashamed of you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.